I spent years feeling I wasn't living any sort of life I wanted, stuck behind a desk with only my daydreaming ways to keep me going each day. I'm a fantasist and repeating the same thing day after day wasn't enough for me. I want more. I want to see it all, feel it all, truly be alive in the moment. Travelling frees your soul, it opens your eyes, so you can truly see the world as it is right in front of you. So here we are, on our eighth trip in eight months. Seeing Lake Bled and Slovenia has been on my list for a while now. It's Europe's hidden heaven, surrounded by mountains with a tiny island right in the middle of it. The lake naturally occurred as an effect of the ice age. As the ice melted, it pushed land upwards to form the most perfect lake. It shows us that even in the toughest and coldest of times, beauty and peace will always follow. So we're just about to rent this boat, which is very exciting and it's really cool because you can dock it on the island as well. So you can kind of row out to the island and then dock it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but you can actually see the fish in this water and it is just bright turquoise. Yeah, bring them forward. Yeah, Maybe straighten your legs. Yeah, nice. And then, and then put, pull them up, lift them up out of the water. No, lift them out of the water. Okay, and pull them back out of the water so they're behind you move your arms forward out of the water and then pull them towards you and no Alan currently we are on the lake as you can see I'm just floating the reason I'm floating is because this guy here is um just rowing trying to row trying to row trying to row I, I wish I could get this camera further away maybe like this so you guys can see Alan's attempt at rowing to be honest, it hasn't felt smooth, but he has got us from all the way over there. So you're doing I'm really far, well. you have done. You've gone quite far, but the, the way you use these oars is is questionable. <laughs> okay, keep it in. No, you're taking it out too early. Put it in. <laughs> this sounds so rough. Basically, guys, we're trying to go to this castle, mm -hmm. and we have now done a U-turn. But at least now we have a good view of it. I actually haven't been able to see it this whole time, so it's nice to see it now. Good job, Alan. I like that I can see it. Well, keep going because we're turning around again. Oh my gosh, that's. I need to take a picture of that. That is beautiful. Yay! It took an hour, but we made it. Okay, so now row the opposite way. No, you're pushing forward. Put, okay, keep them there. Pull them back. Okay, lift them above. Okay, now put them back. And then push them down. Yes, Alan, well done. Okay, so then lift them up. And then pull them back. And then down. You're doing it. We made it guys. We just need to figure out how to dock. Oh wait, that one needs to be more. That was just such a traumatic experience. <laughs> we, we managed to park our boat on the island, but it, it took a lot of swearing and shouting at each other. We got there in the Are you happy we did it? Oh uh, yeah. Do you feel a bit seasick? No, my arms are just like... I'm so happy right now. Are you, Alan? Mm. Is yours good? Mm. Does yours have chocolate bits in? Mm. Wow, that's delicious. We've got some ice cream. We're gonna sit on these steps and look at the view. Look at the colors. <laughs> this is just what life is all about. So we've had an ice cream and we've walked around this very, very cute little island. And we're already back at our boat. So on the other side of this little island is this. It looks like it's like a castle on top of a rock. So I think we definitely need to go up there. I think you can get beautiful views of the whole of Lake Bled from up there. Oh my god, I don't know how to get in. So Eva's gonna row. Let's see how this goes. She was laughing at me all the way here. It's not going well. No, we're going that way. Oh, oh right, we need to turn around. Okay, do we? Yeah, he said it's easy. Ah, okay. The rower rows backwards. Ah. I think I'm really good at this. My glasses are about to fall off my face. Take them off. My knees are going to fall off my face. So Eva thinks she's really good at rowing. <laughs> she's really cocky at the moment. I am so good at this. I feel like, look how far I've got us. Well done. I did it all on my own. <laughs> this is a breeze. Okay, that was a fun adventure. It took us friggin' ages to get back. 
because rowing is hard, <laughs> which we soon discovered quite quickly during that experience. But it was very fun, I still recommend it. Now we're walking up a hill to go tobogganing, or as Alan likes to say, tabogan. Tobogan. Tobogan. Okay, we're on our cable car. Last time you know, I went on one of these, as I said, it was in Austria seven years ago. We went for our one year anniversary to Austria and we decided to get a cable car and it kind of looks like this but apart from it was really snowy so can you see guys how it looks like we're just going to one point of a mountain that's what it looked like when we went on and then we passed that point of the mountain and it just kept going up and up and up have you, how high did we go it was scary yeah and alan gets fair to go and his feet are hanging off something but are you feeling okay with this I'm okay now yeah i actually feel okay with this as well which is weird because we're hanging off a string mm -hmm. swaying but I don't feel too bad with this. But this, I feel like is... this is a bit too much. Because <laughs> why did you sit like I this, Alan? Know. Why no, did you look pick... up? Would you not? No, no, no. Why did you put your leg there? Alan's having some issues with his legs. He <laughs> he kind of put his legs on either side of the bar, but we're meant to be on one side each. So he's on my she side of it, it and we're not? swaying. No, don't lift it. No? Yeah, we can. Well, we can. Okay, just move your leg. Perfect. I feel like this isn't <laughs> worth it, Alan. <laughs> just leave it. It's like on the wrong boat. It's not. <laughs> you know, when we try to swap. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that, but we're kind of swinging. Can it's you very relaxing, see? actually. Oh my gosh, when we come down, look at the... Oh, we're not going to come down this way. Yeah, we are. Alan, look. look at the view behind us in the viewfinder. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Does he stop it? Get up. He must do. You know if you fell? Will you be okay? Or? No, I think we'd break our legs. <laughs> oh my god, Alan's halfway down already. Okay, this is kind of scary. Okay, so the last time I checked in with you, we just finished tobogganing, which was really fun. And then Alan and I decided that we wanted to go for a swim. So we thought we'll walk around the lake and try and find somewhere good to swim. Um, we made it literally like three quarters of the way up around the lake. 40 minutes it took. And we decided that we should just go swimming tomorrow. <laughs> Alan tried to find us a shortcut to a pizzeria we're going to for dinner, which is meant to be really good. If you want to see where we end up, Go check out Alan's vlog, I'm going to link his channel below because he vlogged it. I'm sweating buckets. I like skid down a hill. So what did you think of the route, Alan? It was fun. Are you, are you sweating a lot? Are you I'm sweating as much as... It was very fun. <laughs> through through the um, forest, yeah. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, do you think the we burnt walking, like 500 calories walking? The amount of walking uphill, downhill, Yeah. like... We walked the far. rowing, like the rowing really took it out of me. Yeah, like, that's true. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up with a really, pretty, really bad shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're having dinner, guys. It's called Pizzeria Rustica. It's meant to be really good. It looks very busy and it kind of seems like this is like a little town where local people come as well. It smells nice. Yes. Our pizzas have arrived and we definitely earned them. Let me show you guys. This is where we're eating. Pizzeria Rustica. Alan said it's very popular. Morning everyone, so it's the next day, still in Lake Bled. We're just about to check out of our Airbnb. I'd say our apartment is more of like a stop off if you just want somewhere to sleep because we don't have a kitchen in this one. Um, but it is close to the lake which is great, it's about a 10 minute walk to the lake. So yeah, it really depends what you're after but there are so many great Airbnbs in this area. Just we went for the cheapest in the time we had to book it. We only booked this two weeks ago so not everything was available at a good price but there are lots of options available um so yeah I'll, I'll link it down below in case you do want to see where we stayed in case you're looking to stay but i just want to show you this house that's opposite our room oh my gosh it is beautiful look at that how old is that house i'm going to zoom in so you guys can really see the detail oh my goodness this house is amazing it looks so old especially with the two balcony style coming out of the front of it. I wanted to say that a lot of you messaged me saying that 
you're so jealous that we get to travel around Europe because we live so close and if you're in America you find that it costs so much to travel Europe but you don't have to do exactly what we're doing to get like to experience travel and to have the travel bug so obviously Alan and I travel Europe because we are so close but when you're living in America you have all of America to explore and there are Airbnbs all over the world like hundreds of thousands if not millions of airbnbs and it's such a cheap way to travel and get a great com accommodation so you don't have to feel like you can't do what we're doing just because you're not in the eu or just because you're not within europe because you absolutely can no matter where you are in the world there is always somewhere nearby you that you can go explore and specifically america america is huge so if you do feel like you want to take inspiration from how we're traveling more just do it there's there's nothing holding you back Financially, you can find such cheap flights if you're going local and even figuring out ways to do it if flights aren't an option for you. Like getting a coach, even throughout Europe. Alan once got a coach from London to Amsterdam. How much did it cost you? I can't remember. Looking back, I should have got, um, we should have got a plane <laughs> because the amount, I think it was maybe 50 pounds return. So it's actually the same as our flights. So usually you can't find pl uh, flights for like that price, so... That's true. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone traveling okay. like 11 hours in a coach. No, okay, well Alan's, <laughs> Alan's journey wasn't worth it because he could just get the flight for the same price. It was just a price. struggle. Yeah, um, but if you're in America and coaches are cheap, like we got a coach from Manhattan to Washington, it took like what three and a half three hours? hours? Yeah, yeah, and it cost us five dollars. Five dollars, really? Yeah, wow. it was because you remember it was me mega bus. Yeah, it was so cheap. So, there's always ways to travel and do it cheaply. Um, that's what I'm trying to say here. So, there's no excuses, no matter where you are, you can do it. You really can. Which way now? I think it's this way. Is it? No, we came this way yesterday. Yeah, yeah. where's the Jesus? Jesus is around there. But also, we have a referral link for Airbnb where if you book with your first trip with our referral link, you get £30 off your trip and I think, do we get £15 credit, £15, Alan? £15, yes. 15 yeah. But also, if all of you watching this are inspired to travel, there's £30 off your first trip. So I love I that Airbnb do this. Is it $30? I think it must be £30 and $30. I'm not sure. I think it's $40. Is it $40? Yeah, £30 and $40. Like, that's great because most of the places you stay, that's you can get it for that a night. So that's like a free night paid for. So I love that Airbnb do that. We love Airbnb in general. We always stay in Airbnb when we're traveling Europe. I'm getting out of breath now because walking up a hill. <laughs> But you guys get the drift. If you want to travel, just do it. Stop holding yourself back. It's all your decision and it's all on you. So near where we're staying, we have the Statue of Jesus. There's quite a few little shrine areas um, that we've noticed yeah. since we landed mm -hmm. really. Um, but last night there was a lightning and thunderstorm. And when we were walking by here trying to figure out how to get home, a lightning bolt went off and Jesus just lit up. It was it was quite scary. There was like a really heavy wind and we're walking in the rain and then like we're just walking. It was pitch black. We couldn't see anything because there aren't, aren't really many street lights here. And then Jesus just lit up from the lightning. It was quite a moment. This takes your breath away. And to be surrounded by so, mu so many trees, the air is fresh and it just, especially comb combining it with the sunshine, you just feel really alive. And that is one of the reasons I travel, to feel alive, to make the most of my life and to see as much as I possibly can. So we just had breakfast, we got eggs and they were delicious. And then we stopped by a supermarket and picked up some fruit. So I've got some nectarines. For four nectarines we paid we paid one euro, which is amazing because it would be like two pounds fifty for four nectarines in England. I just love when we come to all these places in Europe, the fruit is so fresh and it's really really cheap compared to what we pay in London. We are heading up there. Yesterday when Alan was taking me on some crazy journey, we basically walked at this level of the rock and we ended up here. But today we need to end up there. So it's definitely gonna be a hike and a half. So after lots of stopping to take pictures, we are now nearly up the top of the mountain. We're just taking these stairs now and apparently it's 15 minutes from here to the top.
so for lunch today um we actually have leftover pizza from yesterday we just put it in some foil and now we're gonna sit here and eat our pizza and enjoy the view make the most of it are you liking your pizza alan is it better next day yeah oh it always is so we're higher up in the castle now and there is another wall that is going to have an amazing view i'm very excited to see it again from even higher wow so we're currently in the castle museum looking around we have this here apparently this is a 20 year old female who died when it was like the um Kind of like cavemen, like the first people to come to um, blood to this area, and they were around in the Ice Age. And apparently, this is like typical jewelry that would be seen. So you can see she has earrings on, and she also has a ring. So we made it down from the top of the castle, walked back to our apartment to pick up our luggage because we were really um, lucky. We were able to keep it there, which is great. I love it when Airbnb hosts have someone for you to keep your luggage, um, even when you've checked out. And now we're sitting on the side of the lake with our feet dipped in weirdly enough there is a gate there we don't know why someone must have chucked it in but just putting our feet in is cooling us down so much i'm still kind of sad we didn't get to swim in it alan yeah but we can come back and then we can swim in it then so that's definitely something to do and now we're just yeah enjoying the view and waiting for an hour till we have to get our bus back to the Biana and then we'll be staying there tonight. It uh, poured with rain, became very cloudy and now it's only just about light, even though it's quarter to nine. Light there, but look at that side. Yeah, look at this side. That is very, very cloudy. I have a tip for you guys. If you want to travel somewhere and it not rain, just don't go anywhere at the same time with me and Alan. It rains everywhere. I don't think we have one single... We have how many travel vlogs have we done? Eight? Do you think? And I don't think one of them has not got rain in. Eight travel vlogs. And it rains in all of them. 